Hey everyone, um, we are back now in the other shed, the other workshop, um, back from the welding shop and I guess kind of what we've been at yesterday and today is you can see here all of the patches that have been welded in and we are in the process of just sanding down those welds and so here we go as well see all are down here and what we um, down here so that was just rusty bolts in there so i took those out wire brushed them um, and then in here so you can see all of this so uh, what i've done now is i've put in some filler in the smaller holes and around the welds um, and just down down here see so right here um basically just trying to fill everything in we will oh what's happening and uh, we will sand everything back and yeah we'll just start tidying everything up getting it ready to um, be painted in in the new year really um, so yeah that's that so i'm gonna do a little bit more work here and then i will i'll come back to you guys and fill you in on the rest so here on the door post i've just sanded it back and here i've got a few holes that we're gonna just fill with chemical metal because it's nothing major structural this bit here is just for the door seal so we're gonna tidy that up so the door seals hold nicely. Oh, I've already made a start on this side. We've got some chemical metal curing in behind the plastic here and then we'll be able to sand it back and take it from there. Fully redoing, just getting all the bolts out of the seat box and once we get it all sanded back and kind of primed and painted then we'll be good to go. This box is just stopping. Some dust getting in, we just painted in. So it's got a little bit of rust on the inside of the, the seat box where the battery sits and wanted to just cure that before any major erosion started. But we're, uh, we're all starting to take shape up at the front here. Everything looks a mess, but it is, it is taking shape. <sighs> And it's coffee break time. A little bit of country music on the radio. We're sitting in the car because it's cold and our car has heated seats. And definitely thinking we're gonna put heated seats into Rona for those colder drives. What do you think, Leah? Should be up to that. Mm -mm -mm. Getting late, but we are working on. We've, we've got a nice little work light that helps keep us going. Um, we are just getting everything tidied up on the on the, the seat box now. And um, Leah is going to start painting on the back of the seat box. We've already painted the floor panel, but we'll get the floor panel back in and the back will start looking like the back again. And we're gonna start in the next episode, we're gonna lay the subfloor for the camper. So once we get the back done, we're pretty much set to start turning this into a camper van.
to Sunday night and down the yard and we've just got a uh, delivery of some some ply well it came yesterday um so we've got ply we're starting to think about our camper fit out we've made a template for a subfloor so we're going to do that now Rona is very much a family affair now, so um, everybody helping to, <laughs> to cut this for the subfloor. And so Leah's dad, her brother-in-law, uh, Leah's sister was, was sitting out in the car as well. Um, Leah helping away, Leah's uncle, Leah's cousin. <laughs> so um, everybody's getting involved in Rona, which is great. Um, and I'll just show you now, we've, we've cut our subfloor section and then in the morning I'll put it in for a dry fit and double check everything works and then I'll sand it down, varnish it and then we'll, we'll add the, um, the adhesive to the floor and, and we'll, we'll take it from there but all, all in a day's work, ready to go tomorrow. So we started cutting our panels for the subfloor and we will put this down with a, a uni bond adhesive um, and then we'll fix the sides as well and then I've just started working on the tops of the footwells before we build out any of the cabinets. Just arrived um, this morning and we have fully varnished one side of the subfloor, that main ply subfloor. Um, so I'll show you this. So this is it, all nice and finished. And so this is gonna be the bottom side of, of the floor. Uh, and you can just see kind of the color difference if we bring it around. So you've got this kind of darker staining and then the original ply. And then the edge banding, uh, which I really like on ply, you've got the different layers coming down there um, as well. So we're going to get started. Um, it's really cold out in the shed, so it, it's the varnish is meant to dry in like six hours, but it's we're having to leave it all day and overnight. Um, and then we come back in the morning, give it a light sand, varnish it again. So there's a few other bits and pieces across the shed, and we'll get those... We'll get those sanded down, varnished today. We'll make a start on this and yeah, we'll keep going. We've been doing other bits and pieces, making door cards for the rear door. And yeah, it's like camper wise, it's really starting to take shape. So we're really excited. I thought that was going to be an easy video just showing you so basically what had happened the the catcher in the door had gotten stuck on the door striker so i thought okay we'll unhinge here and then we'll just pull it off but it didn't happen like that so now our door is there and yeah, now I've got an open side. Leah has primed the seat box. So it's looking a lot better already. Ready to be painted as soon as that dries. Now I'll put all our boats and all our rivets and all back in that need to go in.
diaphragm at the front of the transmission tunnel. And we've got a replacement one that we're going to put in. So we'll clean up, we'll clean this up. We're in the back, we'll put some new blue cell foam in. And then we'll show you what the final product looks like. Now I have an, an almost like new transmission tunnel. Um, so Leah gave it a, a coat of, of a nice matte paint. And if you check on the inside, so Leah also signed in the inside and there's also an insulation sign deadener to go in as well. Um, on this side, part of the, the bottom had cracked so I got a bit of sheet metal and made us a little little plate that'll sit there and then the bolt that's supposed to go in there we'll just we'll just put through and um, through here and um, we need to chop that off but we'll see see how we get on uh, when we're when we're refitting. Here, Leah is washing down with a, a carpet shampoo and spray and brush kit all of our front three seats so that when we go to put them back in, um, you know, we'll know they're nice and clean, we don't need to worry about them. So she's, she's kind of found a spot in the sun where so that's going to work nicely for her. That is us finished up for another day and for another episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, all the support. And as always, if you have enjoyed the video, make sure to click the like button, the subscribe and the notification bell so that anytime we upload a new video, you will be the first to know. Um, and yeah, just thanks again for, for tuning in and, uh, and being part of our build and our, our restoration here. Um, so see you soon.